<laughs> I absolutely love being here with the Ultimate RV Expo, Trish, and of course our buddy Jace. He's I'm always so polite. He's always the best, isn't he? Is he is always the best, and you know firsthand. I've signed up for him, I sure do. Well, you know, we have a little bit of what I like to call Southern charm. Yes, we do. And I would say that since we are here in the heartland, we're here in the Southwest, yes. love being back in Texas. Absolutely love Texas. This session's gonna be all about the brand new Heartland line of RVs for 22. I see what you did there. Chris is real good at a dad joke, if y'all didn't know that. And I love when he sets me up and I didn't see it coming. That's right. Yeah. I love it. There are some amazing ones. The Mallard that I the went Mallard. and walked through. Y'all yes. wait for this excitement. Absolutely. Like the floor plans have changed so much in 2022. Yes, ma'am. And they're so unexpected in the function and design. Mm -hmm. Thank Everything, you. they just flow so well. The, the manufacturers knew a few years ago that they needed to update. They needed to stay not only up to date with technology, but also with design. And one of the things I love whenever you get a chance to go through the RVs with us is when you pop the good and the bad well, th because the manufacturers listen to that. Well, I, I hope you all know it's because I love what you do and I can tell that the evolution is happening. And this is part of coming out, y'all. Get down to a camping world this weekend. Get your hands on some of these yes. RVs and get inside and see the possibilities. because. I think that's what's so cool is the innovation that's happening. Yes, yeah, and since we do have the Ultimate RV Expo going on, you get the ultimate deal, which is $2,500 off any new 2022 travel trailer and $5,000 off any new fifth wheel or motorhome this weekend during the Ultimate RV Expo. And, what? Yeah, and since Heartland makes uh. such great, affordable, and well-built RVs, we had to let, you know, the big dog walk through some of the brands at Heartland. You know, and Ian, do we get, what's our uh, our bet if Ian says uh, his height in the, how, to tell us how high it is? He has to, he has to in every RV. Cause I say it too, he's six foot, I'm six two when I stand up straight and I don't suck my gut in. So I'm five two if the, if the shoe's right. Oh Ian, God, I'm gonna pass you want to show us what's happening in there? Heartland is an RV manufacturer that has been around for a long time, and it's for good reason, because they make beautiful RVs. And today we get to go over the 2022 Heartland Mallard M32. And folks, I really like what they have done. Um, I think Mallard really stepped the game up in 2021, and even more so in 2022. They just continue to improve, uh, whether it's some uh, little advancements we'll see, like some hidden storage to the beautiful interior and amenities that you see inside this one right here. Um, if you know me, I always like to start on the kitchen. So let's start off right there. One of the things you'll notice right away is the upgraded countertop. Now, uh, what they've done, right, is they went to a seamless style or thermal formed countertop. And what that basically does is it gives you a pseudo solid surface. It gives you some of the benefits of the solid surface without the downside like weight and cost. So with this, you don't have any T-mold. So less chance for any kind of water to get in there, rot your countertop out. Plus what I really like is that it lets you undermount your sink. A beautiful stainless steel bowl here. This just really makes it easy to clean. You don't have that ridge. You know, if you have a, a top mount sink at home or in your RV now, you know what, there's that ridge around the sink. And as you go to clean up, it gets all the crumbs and everything else in there and it's a pain and nobody likes to clean it. So undermount is definitely the way to go. Um, and again, we talk about design. I think they've really stepped their game up. I really like the backsplash. It's a lot more modern than what we've seen in the past. And uh, so I, I really like what they've done there. And same thing with the window treatments. You know, you have some, some different coloring in here, really tying together that light and dark. You'll see, you know, nice light cabinetry with dark accents. And I think the, the wood uh, or the window trim helps pull all that in. And you don't have like the big side heavy window trim either. So it lightens it up, brightens it up. Again, they just absolutely killed it. As far as storage underneath, I mean, you know, look at this, you have plenty of storage space here. Well, we got some stuff in that one, but there you go. That one's a little bit easier to see. Uh, excellent storage all the way throughout. Storage underneath the sink here as well, which is always a plus. You can probably fit a smaller trash can in there. You'll see the three burner cooktop. This is recessed, of course, with the glass cover, and you can just fold that up and back like so, so you can access those. Uh, this is a graystone unit. The knobs do light up if you're into the, the blue light look there. And then you can see the oven space underneath, so you have uh, you know room to be able to cook cupcakes or a pie or something smaller. You're not fitting a Thanksgiving turkey in there, but something smaller you can definitely do. Good storage up top right next to the microwave there as well. Of course, our eight cubic foot gas electric refrigerator. Now, a lot of manufacturers have gone over to a 12 volt and 12 volt definitely has some advantages like it cools down quicker. But the nice thing about the gas electric is that you have two fuel options, right? 
Uh, if you have shore power, great, you can use shore power. If not, you can run it off propane. And so that can be a huge advantage depending on your style of camping. Making our way back a little bit further here. Let's head on actually back to the bunk room, then we'll kind of uh, uh, make our way around. But this, in essence, of course, is a bunk RV, right? It's a family RV built to sleep a lot of people. And this is where a lot of that happens. You have the fold up bunk right up top, 200 pound weight capacity on there. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, you have the cube style sofas down underneath. Cool thing about this is you have a couple different orientations. You can leave the backrests against the side of the slide wall like they are, or put it against the back wall so they can face out this way. Really kind of whatever you want to do there. I also really like the wall board that they use on the sides. I think it's, uh, again, something very new and unique that I haven't seen in the industry, but it adds some texture to the walls, and so I really like the way that looks. Across the way, 300 pound weight capacity right up top on this top bunk. <coughs> Excuse me, you'll see a spot for a TV right there in the center and you have wardrobe space uh, on the side, so you have a space to hang up all of your clothes, plus a big window right here in the back and a vent up top. Um, now, by no means is this a, what I would call super unique floor plan, right? That's one of the great things about the RV industry is if one manufacturer makes it, chances are another one does too. But as I said, the Mallard, they really just kind of set themselves apart with a lot of the design that they have. And I think this is a great example. Most manufacturers in this floor plan, it's just a plain door. Cool thing about this Mallard is you have kind of, again, that light and dark accent right here on the door. They added some design to it. It just looks a lot nicer than what a lot of times you're used to seeing. And this, of course, is... A, uh, your bathroom with a secondary entrance. Now, what I like about this is that you can just come, you know, uh, right in and out, right? If you have to use the bathroom, you come right in, do your business, head right back out, so you're not bringing dirt throughout the entire RV. As far as space, you can see right here, I have plenty of leg room. Uh, I'm six foot tall, you know, about 210 right now. <clears throat> and as you can see, great leg space there. Electrical outlet, countertop, storage underneath, mirrored medicine cabinet right there up top as well. And then of course our shower over to the side. Step in here just to give you an idea of space. So when I step in, you see, you know, I have plenty of headroom. You have the uh, skylight there to give me a little bit more headroom as well. If I turn sideways, you know, I'm, I'm a little broad shouldered. So I'll probably be uh, rubbing on the curtain a little bit. So chances are I'll probably just kind of do one of these moves, grab the, uh, the hand wand and make everything happen. The other nice thing about this though is the fact you have a tub. And I like a tub for two reasons. One, the curtain, is going to stay in there, right? You're not going to get water all over the place. It's not going to splash all over the floor because you have the higher wall. The other reason I like it is if you have kiddos, uh, with that, you can actually give them a bath. You know, I, I take my little ones camping and, uh, you know, I can't always give them a shower. Sometimes they just don't want a shower. So being able to give them a bath is definitely a huge plus. If we take a look over at the opposite wall, I do want to point out, I, I don't want to miss this because all storage in an RV is important. There is storage right here. Now you can use this for a couple different things. If you want this for a linen closet, you can use it for a linen closet, you can use it for pantry. There is a uh, hanging rack up top there too. So if you want to use it for kids clothes, you can do that as well. So you really have a lot of versatility in this cabinet right here. Underneath is the fuse panel as well as the um, the breaker box in case you're wondering where that is. You'll see the super slide over here to the side and uh, the U-shaped dinette. Now, they do a few things here that I, I really enjoy. Uh, and one of the big ones is what they call the Selecta style. You will see that you have kind of the dark on the base and then the lighter right here on the back. But if you so choose, if you want it to be all dark, you can flip it around and you can have that as well. So it does give you some options, which I personally really enjoy. You'll see I have the table down right now, but that does uh, obviously pop up. Of course, if it's down like this, that's for a sleeping space, can sleep two adults there. Good storage, you can take a look at that. You'll see right there is the base for my, or the legs for my table, uh, but good storage underneath, easy to access. And then over here to the side is your sofa. Extremely comfortable. Uh, cool thing about this one, take a look at this. Pull this out. Now, this is storage. The idea here is that this is meant to, uh, for the bed space. You take this out, put it on top, that folds down. This creates a nice big bed. But 
If it's just gonna be the two of you or you don't need this necessarily for the sleeping space, you know that you're not gonna have any extra guests, you can take that out, leave it at home, and now you just have a ton of extra space underneath, which I think is really cool. You will also see that they took out all the carpet right here. They went with like the nylon weave, uh, which gives you uh, just an easier to clean floor. And if you take a look at the back of the fascia here, they did backlight it, which once again, uh, I really enjoy that. If you're out here, you wanna watch some TV, you have a great spot to do it. That of course can be mounted right there. Underneath, this is something I personally really like. If you're a fan of the second amendment, it's a great hiding spot right there, right? Just slide that back. You can uh, see that little guy, or if you have any valuables, you want a place to put your wallet, that's an excellent spot for it. I personally really enjoy that. I think it's cool because no one would ever know that's there. Uh, also for your TV, I also wanna point out HDMI input. Uh, you have no idea how long it took the RV industry to adopt these, but they finally have, so there it is, uh, big fan of that. Of course, your multimedia center will be right here. So all you do is you'll take your auxiliary equipment, like your Bluetooth, uh, or Bluetooth, your Blu-ray player, plug it in right there, it'll just be a direct HDMI right into the TV, you'll be good to go, storage on the side, and then of course, underneath. If we make our way up into the bedroom, go ahead around there, Kev, I'll come this way. Uh, what you'll notice is you have entrance from both sides, and that's because you know, you just don't have enough space to scoot by the bed right here. So they try to make sure you have room on both sides to get in and out of the bed. But that's a king size bed, folks. Huge bed in here that we are not elbowing each other. Storage on the sides. You have electrical outlets, 12 volt outlets on the side, storage, and you get actual slider doors. So that way you can close it off and have a little bit of privacy. All right. And as we come outside, one of the things you'll see right away are your solid steps. Uh, these are the more ride step above steps, super easy. They just fold up right into the door jam when you're done. Uh, one of the other things I really do like is the feet. They have made much easier to adjust. Before you had pins that you had to pull in and out and it was kind of a pain. Now it's just a lever in the back and you can literally just pull that lever and that will allow you to adjust the feet just like that. So uh, they really have made or uh, done some things to make that super easy to set up camp. You will also see your power awning. Uh, this one does have an adjustable pitch on here, which is fantastic. So whether you want that for water runoff or as the sun starts to go down, you just want some more shade, you can adjust the pitch here. LED light going across the top there, speakers directly underneath that. As we make our way to the front, there are a couple things that I wanna point out. One of them is the huge storage you have up here. Uh, Mallard likes to call this the King Kong size storage. And for good reason, it is massive. Not only do you have a big door, right? For some of your larger items, like a grill or a large chair, but you actually have just a large storage space in here. LED lights on both sides. You have your slide control over there. Uh, this one does have power stabilizer jacks, but the controls for that are on the off door side as well. Up front is the power tongue jack. Of course, your two 20 pound propane tanks. Uh, this one does have solar prep up there and that beautiful three quarter front cap with LED lights. The last thing I do want to uh, point out real quick is if we make our way to the back here, this one has a large outside kitchen. So right back here, you see that second entrance into the uh, bathroom there. But if I lift this up, take a look at that. You have the beautiful back uh, wall there, the nice large refrigerator, pull out countertop, plenty of storage. They absolutely knocked it out of the park with the outside kitchen here. Last thing I do want to uh, touch on, of course, if you also probably want to cook, and you can do that. You have the swing out grill mounts with the propane quick connect underneath. So even if you have a favorite grill, maybe you have a Blackstone you want to hook up, you can do that as well. Plus you get the outside shower, city water inlet will be right back here. And you can see your uh, cable inlet plus the spare tire. Folks, if you're looking for a great family camper, Asdell Construction, absolutely well built, a ton of space, almost 37 feet, about 7,700, a little over dry. This one right here is an excellent pick. Don't miss out. At Camping World, we're changing the way you buy RVs. And to help us get the word out, we brought back marketing consultant Todd James. And for the record, this was not my idea. Camping World now offers RV delivery. But what don't you offer? The undeniable satisfaction of putting it together yourself. The RV? Furniture, toys, meal kits. They all share three magical words in common. Some assembly required.
Todd, how are they supposed to assemble an RV? With the help of our old pal, Alan. Wrench. Or we could just offer professional delivery with the same high-quality walkthroughs that we provide at our Camping World dealerships. Yeah, I'm not sure what the big deal is. Uh, this thing snaps together in like 57 hours. Tops. Camping World. Buy your RV online and we'll deliver it to your home or campsite. Alaska. Hi, my name is Russell Winfield, former professional snowboarder from Seattle, Washington. I was the first black African-American pro snowboarder ever. And uh, the thing about being the first is that you don't have anybody before you that can help you. But now, what I'm doing, I'm trying to help younger kids. I can give them my experience. Hey, what's going on, man? How are you? So yeah, let's go check this thing out. I have brought along one of my best friends, Leif Jones, and the princess herself, Caitlin Fendt. <laughs> So this trip is the quintessential Northwest spring road trip. All right, guys, here we are. Good old park coffee. The RV allows you to get to know people in close proximity. And you can go to cool places. You can have conversations on the road trip. Shred ready. Shred ready. It just builds memory, you know, good memories. And that's important. Now that we've been caffeinated, we're gonna get to the shred. The shred is important. It's good up here, people. Let's get it. Woo! Well, looks like we made it. Mount Bachelor. Yeah, let's put you guys in comfort mode. Thanks. I feel like these things are magical. These are, it's like a magic carpet. You get in this thing and you kind of shut everything else outside world away. Who's ready for some coffee? Love some. You get to just uh, focus on relationships with your friends and yourself. It's pretty cool. We're riding the best mountains ever. <laughs> Trips like this are super important because snowboarding became popular because of the culture around it. Hey, it's hot it. You get done with a trip with your buds, an RV, and you're just closer to each other. And you've got crazy memories yes. that aren't ever going to leave. Woo! And that's <laughs> what I call for the win. If you're looking for something small, lightweight, but you still want to be able to take the family and maybe go somewhere a little off-road, this one right here is the one, folks. This is the 2022 Heartland Mallard Pathfinder 17 QBH, and I absolutely love this travel trailer. It comes in a little under 21 and a half foot and a little over 3,500 pounds dry, so you don't necessarily need a huge vehicle to be able to tow this one, which is right out the gate why I really like it. Um, and as we go through, you'll also see it's very well appointed and excellently constructed. So in normal Ian fashion, let's start off right here on the kitchen. A lot of things to really like about this one. First of all is going to be the countertop. And what you'll notice is it does have the upgraded countertop. It's a seamless countertop. Same thing they have in the full Mallard line. Um, you know, and, and basically what it does, it does a couple things for you is it, it eliminates any tea mold so that if you get any water on the countertop, it's not getting in the tea mold and rotting out your countertop, which is a huge plus. And because of that, it does allow the ability to undermount. Now in this particular one, they did go with the overmount sink but take a look at the depth of that sink. I absolutely love how deep this one is. I love the color as well. Um, you know, it's kind of like that gunmetal, and I just really, really enjoy it. You'll see the faucet is kind of over to the side. And they did that to really just maximize the, uh, the amount of space here. You know, this, this one isn't quite as wide as uh, some of your larger RVs, which is, again, what is part of what helps with that weight, be able to help bring that weight down. So because of that, you know, you can't have as deep of countertops. So by offsetting it, uh, they still give you that really big, deep sink 
And, and of course, uh, you still uh, have the ability to, to wash and everything else you need, the nice high-rise faucet. Next to that is your two-burner cooktop that is recessed. Of course, you can just uh, flip that up to use it nice and easy. I do like having the, uh, the, the recess, though, because you do get this as prep space, which you definitely need it again in a smaller travel trailer. Your kitchen prep space will be at a premium. Big window right there, let in lots of natural light. Super, super simple uh, on your window fixture here. Um, you know, it, it get a little bit more, um, I don't know, I guess detailed in some of the other ones throughout the camper, but here in the kitchen, you can hear it's actually a metal. Uh, and I really like that because it's gonna be so much easier to clean. So I think that's really cool to have there. Streamline hood up top, you can see the light, right? Nice and, you know, kind of a, a bright blue light, which I like that. Storage up top, and this is kind of cool because again, they, they kind of curved, uh, not curved, but slanted rather, the cabinets inward at the bottom. And so it just gives you a little feeling of more space when you're in here. You know, if the cabinets stick out completely all the way, uh, feels a little closed in, and you can really see it over here, right above the dinette where they kind of angled it in. And I personally really like that just to help make it feel more op open while still providing a ton of space. The cabinets are very easy to open. You have these modern pulls right here, very, again, uh, kind of streamlined. You open that up, you can see all the good storage space right in there. And then uh, as we take a look underneath, can't forget about underneath storage, of course, I'll open this up for you as well. So, you know, not a ton here, but as you would expect, because you have the sink with a P trap there, but you know, they built storage all the way around it. And then underneath the cooktop again, great storage there too. So just storage all the way around underneath, which I love, and even more underneath the bed, which we'll see in a little bit. Microwave up top right there, you have a, um, your refrigerator does run off both propane and electric, has automatic switch over as well. Pretty standard stuff here. Nice thing about that is it, it is dual fuel. So if you have shore power, great. You can run it off shore power. If not, you can run it off propane, you'll still be good to go. Speaking of propane, that will power the furnace. You know, if you like to do some cold weather camping, this one actually will do pretty darn good. You got the furnace right there. When we go outside, you'll see it has a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly, uh, part of that climate guard system, so that way you can camp effectively in some colder weather. And then making our way to the back, <clears throat> one of the things I really love about this, now, it, it's going to be a give and take, right? So let me show you here. <clears throat> when I say that, as you can see, if I sit on the toilet, not necessarily a ton of space, right? I don't have a ton of leg room. You can see my, my uh, feet are angled back a little bit if you have them planted on the floor. Now, as I always like to say, you can just kind of use it as a built-in squatty potty if you want, put your legs up there. They say it's better, don't know. But, uh, you know, but even though it is a little tight, I think it is a great trade-off because it's pretty uncommon in something that is only 20, 21 and a half foot long with a bathroom like this to have a sink. And for me, I would much rather have a little less space on the toilet and be able to have a sink in the bathroom so I don't have to wash my hands in my kitchen sink. I don't have to uh, you know, brush my teeth in the kitchen sink. I really like having a dedicated bathroom sink and this one right here does it, which is one more reason I really love this lightweight camper. I see you, know, you have a shelf built in here as well, which I like. It has a spot for a uh, toothbrush. I probably wouldn't really use that much because I have a, an electric one, uh, but I do like the fact it has a shelf so I can put things up over there. Electrical outlet underneath again. They have a side mounted faucet, which is uh, really smart. Stainless steel bowl. It actually has a medicine cabinet up top. I like that for some additional storage. And you can see you have some storage right there, plus over on the side. Uh, this is open. So if you have toilet paper, black tank, chemical, whatever else you need. And to top it all off, if I take a step in here, take a look at this, folks. Again, smaller RV. And I, at six foot tall, I can stand up in the shower. Uh, without the skylight, I'm, I'm right there. I'm maxing it out, but I can still stand up in here. With that skylight, you can probably be like six one and still be able to stand and shower and not have to duck down. And that is a pretty big deal when you're talking about a smaller, lightweight RV. So even though, you know, as I said, it's a little cramped on the toilet, for me, it is 100% worth the trade-off. I love the way they designed that bathroom. Another thing I love is the bunks. And one of the big reasons why is underneath, and I'll show you in just a moment, but you have two bunks here, 275 pound weight capacity here on the top one. 
Uh, in order to get in, they do give you the grab handle right here. And then of course you would just step right there and hop up and in rather than um, you know having like a built-in ladder just because you don't really have space in something this size. But you definitely, uh, this definitely will aid you in getting up there. There is a window up top. And then if we take a look underneath, this is why one of the reasons I love it so much and uh, let me turn this light on for you. But that's because you have the door right over to the side. That is excellent for loading. Uh, you know, you have the space. I'll show you that when we, when we uh, go outside. But it really gives you a ton of space when loading up for traveling. I love, love, love when manufacturers put that in. As for eating space, you have a, a two-person dinette. Um, you know, you, you, probably one of the only drawbacks here, right, is it's going to be a little tough to fit the whole family here. But that's okay because, you know, you, you have a picnic table outside. Um, but, I, you know, at least they do give you dinette space. And if you really want to snuggle up, you can fit four here. Um, but, uh, you know, I love the fact they do give you a dinette. You'll also see your fuse box as well as breaker panel will be located right over here. And then the other side, you can see your electric outlet and USB ports. Again, as I pointed out earlier, some more storage right up top. Nice big window at that dinette too. And then up front is our bedroom. So you can see the window there, storage across the top. Uh, all the way over is the TV. So if you want to watch some TV, whether you're in bed or sitting at the dinette, you can do so. And then underneath the bed, take a look at this, you have even more storage. So storage galore just all over this bad boy. Uh, main control panel will be located right here, uh, as will a battery disconnect and a little bottle opener. And then as we come outside, the features don't stop. Uh, they did a lot of things really right on the outside of the Pathfinder. One of them is they expect you to be able to take this a little bit off-roading. So they gave you a 110 watt solar panel up top as well as an inverter. So that way you can basically just run solar and batteries and still be able to run 120 inside. So if you want to be able to plug in a cell phone or a blender or toaster, something like that, you can do that just off batteries and solar, which is awesome. Uh, you can see your solar controller here. And as I mentioned, the inverter over there, plus great storage space uh, built in, which you know, you gotta love that too. You'll see you have slam latches, magnetic catch on here, and it's Asdell composite. Now that's uh, great for a couple reasons. One, it's not gonna absorb moisture in the sidewall. So it, it, you'll eliminate that chance of having bubbles. If you've ever seen that on some laminated units, they have a bunch of bubbles. That's because water got in there and the Luon absorbs water but the Asdell will not. Plus, you won't have any off-gassing, so if you're sensitive to smells, you'll be good in here. And it's lighter weight, which is what helps it get to about that 3,500 pound mark uh, when it is dry. A couple things up front real quick here. You will notice the power tongue jack plus your dual 20 pound tanks. You have a little leash latch there, so if you want a place to uh, you know, tie up a dog, you have that just built right in. You can see the nice, smooth, um, fiberglass front on there with the LED lights there. You gotta love it. Power awning with an LED light as well. Easy adjustable pitch. So you can literally, you just kind of pull down or push just like that and you can see that will adjust the pitch. You can do that on both sides if you want so that you know as the sun starts to lower you can have more shade or just one side for a little bit of water runoff. Just bear in mind you definitely don't want to have your uh, awning open if it's raining really heavy or of course in the middle of a storm because it will damage the awning. Make it right back a little bit further. You can see your grab handle here plus your steps. I do love the fact they lit up the steps because when I'm out camping, I come home a lot or come back to the camper a lot late after a campfire. Uh, half the time I trip up the steps. Maybe it's because there's a light. Maybe it's because of what I was doing at the campfire. I'm not walking very well, but either way, I do like the fact the steps are lit up. This is a really <laughs> cool feature too. You have this extra table just clips right onto the wheel well. I love that they built that in. Such a cool feature. Um, you know, we sell something like this. They're kind of similar to this in the uh, retail store where it goes around the tire of an RV, but this is already built in, comes straight from the manufacturer. I think this was a cool addition. Speaking of tires and wheel wells, take a look at that tire. Man, that wet tire shine makes it look nice. But not only that, this is a larger than normal tire. It has a very aggressive lug so that if you do take it off-roading, you'll have that extra traction. Plus, it's a 15-inch tire, and more important than that, it's a 235.75. And what that 235 means is it is a wider tire. More often than not, your uh, trailer RV tires are like a 205, 
you know, to, to sometimes a 225, that 235 is a really wide tire. So uh, it really is built for off-roading and I love that they put the more aggressive tires on there. If you want outside TV, that is going to be your hook up there. Another tie down right in the back. And if we come around to the very back, you'll notice a couple things. Black tank flush right back here, a full size spare as you know, you definitely need, so because, especially because of that lug difference. And if you take a look underneath, this one has an accessory receiver. So if you want to hook up uh, bikes or something like that, you can just slide it right in there. You'll be good to go. Last thing I do want to show you folks is this door right over here on this side. This door opens up. This bunk does flip up. That way you have all this space for storage. That flips all the way up just gives you a ton of storage space. I'm telling you, if you're looking for something lightweight for the family, right here, the 2022 Mallard Pathfinder P17 QBH is definitely one you're gonna love. Man, Ian Baker looks good, don't he? We were hiking our britches. Tell you what, well, I, had, well, I bought a belt Whoop. and it didn't fit. My wife goes, well, that's a huge waste. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna fight you in the streets, Chris Young. I have walked into these dead jokes like dad jokes like they're a wall. Y'all, what else you're walking into is more Heartland. Yes, <laughs> Heartland is a great manufacturer, one of the top selling across the country. They build affordable, great, lightweight, and durable RVs. And the great thing about it during the Ultimate RV Expo, we got over 37,000 RVs on the lot right now. You want a fifth wheel, you want a motorhome, you want a travel trailer. We got you covered at over 185 dealerships. And Trish, the best part about it, a lot of what? people don't know this. We are the biggest, Yes. so we get better deals. Now's the best time to finance. But what you don't realize is that Camping World is the largest network of family dealers. These are folks that are in your neighborhood, their children That's go right. to your schools, they go to your churches, they're part of your activities, and they just want to help you find the RV of your dreams. And we're right here in the heart of Texas, honey, showing you Heartlands, and we can tell you for sure <laughs> that there are nothing like Texas spirit. Everybody oh, here has, the hospitality is amazing. People are so sweet and so lovely. So come on down, come on down to Camping World and visit your local dealership, because I'll tell you, everybody here is so sweet. Now you have to decide which one you're getting into. And if you can't run down this weekend, get on the phone. We have so many specialists standing by. Just call 866-853-3510. And we've got anybody you need on the phone to help you get in your new RV of your dreams. And you know what? While you're there at the phone, hopefully you're near a computer. Go oh. to ultimatervexpo.com and register because we got a chance <gasps> for you to win a brand new Arcadia fifth wheel. If you haven't seen that thing. Oh, your, your mind is going to be blown. It's, it is one of the coolest RVs I've ever seen in my life. It looks like a whale. It does look like a looks whale. Like a whale, don't it? That's like designed to the nines on the inside. Oh. I'll tell you what else is super cool. What's that? That Heartland Pioneer that Ian's about to get himself into. Yes. Oh, y'all, I walk through it. Yes. Honey. Let me tell you, Pioneer stepped up the game. Not only do they, have the, do they have those hybrid aluminum front profiles that really help with tongue weight and durability and wind resistance and all this that yeah. and everything. They wrap the floor. They have put some amenities in an entry-level travel trailer that crushed the competition. So and I can't cool. wait to see what Ian's going to show us on this one. And I can't wait for y'all to get your eyes on it because I'm going to tell you something. All you've got to do today is decide what you're getting into. That's the hardest decision you're getting in. Now, when we talk about beautiful couples coaches, something you can't exclude is a rear kitchen. And this Pioneer RK absolutely nails it. There's a lot of things I really love about this RV, um, but when we talk about a rear kitchen, it should be the focal point. It should be what you put you know, the most time and resources into in the build, and that's exactly what they've done here. Um, and, and I like this for a couple different reasons. I like a lot of things about it. One of the big things you'll notice right away, of course, is they put in true solid surface countertops. Now, folks, I'm telling you, at this price point, that is just not something that happens. Um, you know, your, your solid surface is gonna be more expensive. It's gonna be a little bit heavier. We still have good weight on here, but that true solid surface is absolutely gorgeous. You can see like the nice little fleck that's in there. I think that was a good choice on colors. And you have a ton of countertop space here. Now, 
Why is that important? Well, obviously, for kitchen, it's great to have that prep space, right? But something we oftentimes don't think about and things that we may have at home are things like, you know, your coffee maker, if you have a toaster out, if you, know, you need a place to dry dishes. You know, we don't have a dishwasher. A lot of us have dishwashers at home, and some fifth wheels we have have dishwashers as well. But in a travel trailer, you're not going to find that. So you're going to wash, you're going to rinse. You need a place to dry all those, right? Put out a drying rack. And when you have this size countertop, all of that is possible. If if you want to prep snacks, you're going to make a charcuterie board, or I always like to say an adult lunchable, you can do that right here because of all the <laughs> countertop space. You will see that you get the undermount uh, double bowl stainless steel sink in there, which again is perfect for washing and rinsing dishes. You know, and I, I love, don't get me wrong, I love the looks of having a single bowl apron front but it's just not as functional. Having a double bowl like this uh, really just makes washing dishes just that much easier. And if you get like a sink top cover or something, you can still use one side prep on the other. Uh, just, you know, in case this is all full of, you know, charcuterie because you have a 12 foot charcuterie board for the whole campground, I don't know. But uh, you do get that extra space if you need it. Also, electrical outlets. As I talked about, you gotta have a place for a coffee maker. Uh, I can tell you, I have coffee every morning. If I don't, I become very grumpy and I get headaches. It's probably a problem, but I drink it anyway because I like it. So I have to have a coffee maker when I camp and that is where it goes. You see storage all the way across the top. You have the uh, glass inlays, which I think is a great option to help break up the wood. And something I really enjoy about this, again, when you have a rear kitchen, you expect to have a lot of storage and that's what you get. A lot of times these the cabinets up top aren't this deep, but they've built very deep cabinets here all all the way through, right? So you have plenty of space for your your uh, cups, your plates, your bowls. Again, my wife loves to entertain, so I have more serving dishes than I know what to do with. I don't even know what half of them are for. I have a knife that's like this long. I'm like, it's pointless, but apparently it's for cheese. Who knew? Uh, but anyway, so you have things like this, right? You get all this extra space, and especially because you don't have the style in there, you can fit some of those uh, bigger dishes in there. And things like this, like in the corner, this goes all the way back. So don't think that, you know, you're being shorted of space there. You still get excellent storage right up top. LED lights underneath, nice big windows all the way around in the back, really help to bring in uh, some of that natural light. You also, of course, have microwave hood, your cooktop, you get the three burner cooktop that is recessed with the glass cover. I like that they actually put it back here. Um, you know, a lot of uh, manufacturers when they do the rear kitchen will actually put it here and I don't really care for that personally just because it takes up a lot of that prep space and it kind of breaks it up. I like that it's all the way over here so you have all that space. And then of course you get the oven if you need to do a little bit of baking, your uh, breaker box and fuse panel is right down there. As far as storage underneath, you get excellent storage there too. Plenty of room for a trash can. Uh, if you know me, that's a big one for me. I don't like to have my trash bags hanging out. Uh, it's unsightly, it stinks. You know, the kids might trip on it. If there's a hole in it, it's leaking all over. I, I just don't like it. Uh, so having a spot for, you know, to where you can actually put a trash can in an RV is definitely a big win for me. Three full extension ball bearing drawers. You know, you can see that they do come all the way out. They have that full extension. They don't stop right here. So you can actually access things all the way to the back of them. So uh, I always say that to have a functional RV kitchen, you absolutely must have at least one drawer. This one has three. It's not like you have a spot for your flatware, but also some of your larger serving utensils, uh, your top whatever else you need and right over here you'll see storage for pots and pans I also want to show you this um, you know currently the panel is off here this is an access panel this unit has been winterized but that's what I want to show you that this one does come with a water heater bypass if you live in a cold area like I do chances are you have to winterize your RV uh, and having that bypass is a huge huge plus on the maintenance side because that way you can, uh, when you go to winterize that system and you put the antifreeze in there, you're not putting six gallons into the water heater, filling that up. It's a mess, it's a nightmare, it's hard to get out. You definitely want that water heater bypass and it's great that it came straight from the manufacturer with it on there. Uh, also on the maintenance side, folks, if, if you are new to RVing, we do have a, a downloadable maintenance schedule that's available that shows you, you know, the maintenance after every trip, three months, six months, one year. Uh, if that's something you're interested in, definitely reach out, we can get that to you. Uh, so that way you know exactly what kind of maintenance you need to be doing on your RV to uh, make sure she's good to go season after season. You'll also see your fridge freezer combo here. This one does run off both propane and electric and it has automatic switch over. Uh, that way, you know, you kind of get that dual fuel source, right? If you have shore power, run it off shore. If not, you can always run it off propane. And then you have the pantry over to the side. You can take a look there. Good pantry space, including the cubby hole up top. 
plus the electrical outlet right down underneath that. Um, I like the electrical outlet uh, in that location just because if you do have like a vacuum, it gives you a convenient space to plug it in. Speaking of vacuum, you will notice that for uh, 2022, Pioneer has removed all carpet. They've gone to this uh, marine grade right here, which you know I personally really like. Uh, it's it, just easier to clean from general dirt to if you spill anything, right? It's gonna wipe up a lot easier on there. Also in this super slide, they've done a good job with some of the design. You can see the shiplap wall board on both ends. Uh, you get the large U-shaped dinette. This of course does drop down into sleeping space where one adult can very comfortably sleep. If you have two adults that wanna snuggle up, you can have them there too. Uh, and as you can see, you know, good space. Um, you, can, you can basically fit three people here. It's kind of a common misconception by a lot of people that are new to RVing, thinking that a U dinette sits more people, and that's honestly generally not the case. Um, although, you know, you can sleep; it's a bigger bed when you get or drop it down to sleep. Usually, you're still going to be, you know, three to four people max in a U dinette. In this one, I'd say, you know, again, you're probably getting three, one on each side, one uh, right there in the center. But the fact it drops down to a big bed is wonderful. Moving over to this side is your sofa. Now this will be a jackknife style sofa. Uh, a couple nice things about this one. First off will be this right here. You have the drop down center console, kind of gives you that pseudo theater seating feeling. Uh, some cup holders in there, gives you an armrest, which I personally really like, especially if you have a throw pillow. You can put a throw pillow right here, which will you know not only help uh, make the camper look nice, but also give you like a secondary armrest as you're hanging out. Uh, the other thing is the fact it's a jackknife, which means you have tons of storage underneath. Big advantage of jackknife is all the storage, uh, especially for larger items. A lot of times in RVs, there's a million and a half places to put small items, but it's your larger items that you really struggle to find spots for. Uh, the jackknife sofa is a great spot for it. Kind of going over to the other side of the RV, I do just want to show you the recliners. And again, Allure furniture uh, is, what we, is what we have in here. Allure is wonderful. Uh, it's gonna be an upgrade over what you find in a lot of your standard RVs. You know, I love the uh, secondary color stitching on here. It just helps things pop. But this, this is a recliner, so if you wanna kick back and relax, you can. But the cool thing about this, again, is the rear kitchen is not only great for people that love cooking, but also if you're looking to entertain, right? This is an excellent floor plan for it. Because you can be back in the back, making the snacks, you know, making drinks, whatever you want to do. Everyone is in this space right here, in the sofa, in the u dinette, right here in the chairs. Everyone's having that conversation. Or if there's a game on you want to watch, you can do that. Or maybe, you know, you just got married, congratulations. And, uh, you know, you want to show everyone the wedding video, boom, that's where it goes right there. You can put it on have everyone uh, take a peek, right? Uh, you'll also see the multimedia center, you have HDMI cable, so you can plug it in the back of the TV, just go straight through. So that way, if you have a Blu-ray player, you can watch a Blu-ray. Then making our way up front, we get into the bathroom. I always, I always like to show bathroom size. It's one of those things that, you know, hey, I'm not the, the smallest guy ever, right? Uh, six foot, about 210. And uh, I unfortunately spend a lot of time in the bathroom. I, my wife will attest. She yells at me all the time about it. But, um, you know, I need to make sure that I, I have enough space here and I have more than enough. So we're good to go there. As for the shower, that's another one. We're talking RVs. I always like to, you know, have one where I can stand up. Not all the time is that possible. You know, sometimes you are going to be hunched over a little, but it is more comfortable if you can stand like so. Uh, your, you have the shower curtain that is on a curved track to give a little bit more space. So when I turn, I'm not fighting with the curtain, right? Not elbowing it, playing that game. You can see the nice big shower pan in here as well. Uh, speaking of large, you also get large countertop with storage underneath and uh, the mirrored medicine cabinet right up top. Now... If we scoot up into the bedroom, couple last things I wanna show you here before we head outside. You'll see the mirrored wardrobe on both sides. What's really cool about this though, is right here, you'll see you have this cubby hole. So uh, what you can do is you can put a puppy in there and pet it through this. No, just kidding. Um, what, you, <laughs> what you can do is if you have like a cell phone, uh, you can put your cell phone in there. If you have a CPAP machine, you can set your CPAP in there, have the hoses just come right through. That way, uh, you know, it's kind of off to the side protected. And I do like they built that in there. Light on both sides as well, plus storage right up top. Last couple things I want to hit on. You do have TV connection in here. And not only do you get both wardrobes on the side but you get all of this storage right here as well as we head outside you'll notice a couple different things out here right first up is going to be your more ride step above steps 
So I really like having the steps, uh, the, having that upgrade. It, it uh, just gives you a little more control, not control, stability while moving in and out of the RV. Plus you have that nice big grab handle you can grip onto. Making our way forward, you'll see the power awning with LED lights. Gotta love that, right? Light it up, and that is a large awning, folks. I mean, that covers basically your entire campsite, which I love. A couple speakers if you wanna to listen to music. King Kong size storage right there, so big storage area. Power stabilizer jacks underneath here as well. Power tongue jack up front with a couple uh, two 20 pound propane tanks. You'll see the smooth aluminum right up front, which I really like. Not only from an aesthetic standpoint, but also it's just easier to keep clean. And you know, if you're like me, you like your, you like your nice things to stay clean. So you're gonna make sure you clean your RV up. Coming around to the back, you will see TV hookup if you want it, uh, black tank flush, and lastly, you get the outside kitchen here, plus the rear storage for extra totes, firewood, coolers, whatever else you wanna put back there, and a spare tire. Folks, if you're looking for a great couples camper, don't miss out on the Pioneer RK300. Introducing Good Sam RV Rentals, an RV rental community designed to help you experience the RV lifestyle for less. Whether you're exploring breathtaking destinations or discovering new ways to spend time with family and friends, RV renters will pay just a 5% booking fee with Good Sam. For RV owners looking to earn more from their RV investment, you'll pay just a 5% commission fee. List or rent, it's 5%. That's up to 75% less than what the other RV rental companies charge. Experience more for less with Good Sam.